Hi guys and welcome to part two of the ultimate stockpile vlog which is our seventh vlog on the coupon queens vlogs god that's a lot of vlogs isn't it um what we're doing today is i'm going to be showing you how you can create your own stockpile how to maintain it what the best ways to get products are and to create the most savings and i'd love to see all your stockpiles and all your top tips so please comment them either on Facebook or the video below so we can all see them and we can all share tips because it's brilliant to have one and there's so many benefits so it'll be great to see what everyone else does. Right, so I'm going to start off at the bottom and this be really boring. So you may have seen all my little crisp collection, it does go back, sorry. My First of all, these are my clothes, everyone says you have no clothes, I do have clothes. I have another double wardrobe so I'm quite lucky in that respect that I have the space to store my clothing so don't worry I do have clothes. But they are going down quite quickly with the stockpile growing. So all my Chris I have got for free, so the Seabrook ones, there was a free coupon for them about a month ago. Um, the Pombez I got free in a competition. Um, the skips I got free with manufacturers coupons, the lattice crisps I got free, there was a coupon for that probably about nearly two months ago now. The plenty, it was literally up to the top but you know we've gone through it and I've donated quite a lot so they were reduced to 99p in co-op from 198 and I had a 50p off coupon <clears throat> so they were only like 40p and there was a shoppertized cashback as well so it made it really cheap. Toilet roll I got in my vlog the other day, I do like getting my toilet roll just because there isn't a lot of coupons about and like I do write to manufacturers but it's really hard to get toilet roll coupons so like whatever overage I have I always try and get a toilet roll. So the big comfort, some of them cost me a pound <clears throat> and some of them were like 50p etc because I had manufacturer's coupons and I had some comfort coupons as well to go with them. Right so then we move on to Febreze, the sleep serenities were either a pound or free with a coupon, they are reduced in Tesco's and there was a coupon on Super Savvy Me and I had manufacturer's coupons. Then the other Febrezes either cost me a pound or like 50p. The Cokes, they cost me a pound each. They were reduced and I had Coke coupons for them. And actually, I got the Diet Cokes. I made an order on, was it Boohoo? I think it was Boohoo. And I actually got a £1 off Coke coupon come through with it. So that was quite lucky. Then all my Cokes, you can see at the back. They were from the free Coke offer, so that's the Coke Zero bottles. It was full to the top, but everybody drinks Coke like there's no tomorrow in this household, so it is running low. So the Schler cost either, they were like, buy one, get one, freeze in Morrison's, and I had, I think they were 50p off coupons. So they cost like 75p for two, and then the little Robinsons were free with manufacturer's coupons. So, ooh. Then Elliot's Food, you can see in the corner, um, the first tub cost me 50p, I think, and the two big tubs were free because I wrote to the manufacturer and they gave me some nice coupons. So that's Elliot fed for like most of his lifetime because he barely goes through anything. The Dettol Ham Touch Systems, they were a pound each, I think. Yeah, they were a pound each because they had some manufacturer's coupons and they were reduced in Morrison's and Asda. So in the Dettol sprays, they were reduced to Wilco's for a pound and I was quite lucky. I got quite a lot of manufacturer's coupons come through so I managed to blitz that. I've donated a heck of a lot so at least everyone can get use out of them because the thing is, is it's brilliant to keep it all but like for me it's space restriction. I don't have a lot of space and you know we can only go through so much as a family of four so... The more, you know, I can help people is brilliant and we have a lot of like family friends who are struggling so it's brilliant to like help them and you know they're really grateful. So a lot of my stockpile I have like given away, that's why there's like massive gaps and you keep seeing things change all the time. Um, the flash gels, they're about 50p each, the carefrees were free, the Lady Gaga perfumes, they're normally like 50, 60 pound and I got them for £14 each off Groupon and Super. Super drug. Um, got my free naked bars there as well. I've given away quite a few of them. 
because I don't really eat them, so I've given them away. Um, the PG tips, I got three, that's a massive box, and we've got washing up liquids at the back, they were three, the tea bags were about 50 p each, the hand washes were all three, one of them cost me 11 p, the little touch refills were three, um, the pads at the back were about 50 p each, so we always go through them, so they're always handy to Right, so that's really like the bottom tier to it. So I have added value to my stockpile since I last updated the totals, purely because of the um, Boots shampoo clearance. So I've really gone to town on it, only because I absolutely swear by this shampoo. It's amazing. It makes my hair, like, amazing. So I'm going to use it. I can't get bored of it. I've got different, like, varieties to swap over to, and I've got, like, little hair sprays and, like, heat protection sprays as well. The Nivea shower gels were all free. Oh, sorry, the shampoos were like one pound each. So, and I had some Boots Club car points as well. So, some of them are free. Then the Wingmans, they were free for a blog review. So, it's always good to be a blogger. You get a lot of freebies. The Links, they were free as well. Actually, no, some of them cost me fifty p. Then the Sanixes, they were all forty four p each, and they're normally like two pound, I think. Um, the big shores you see at the back, they were all free with manufacturer's coupons. So you can see I've got a lot of deodorant, so I'm probably going to end up donating a lot of this. These were 25p each. I posted them the other day. There is some, like, more bits at the back. It just goes on forever, this, really. Um, my body shop bits I absolutely love. Most of them are free, or they cost me a pound each for the shower gels. And the nappies you see at the back, they're all getting donated because I don't actually have a child so all of this I've been saving up for friends who are having kids because quite a lot of them have and like family members so these are all getting given away quite soon. So they were half price, I think they were like 84p. That's about it really, <laughs> that is the extent of my stockpile. There is a lot to look at but I think the main tips are really like just keep yourself organised so if there is a really good offer don't be afraid to like you know stock up like this because you know this is a this is to the extreme but you know I've got everything I need right here I don't have to run to the shop if I've run out of anything like you know I don't I don't have to worry and like when my shampoo etc was not on offer then you know I've got it for free I've got it for a pound or whatever so it does save money I haven't worked out a total actually recently of what this is all worth to be honest I think I need to but yeah so this is my stockpile I hope you've enjoyed it I'm now gonna like give you a few more tips so many of you ask you say how can you like create a massive stockpile like this when you can only print like one or two coupons so that is true and on most computers you can only print two um two coupons with coupons.com so they're like super savvy me and caring every day so the trick around this is I'm quite lucky I've got three computers in my household so I mean that's six straight away then I like go around to my friends and take them free products and I just say hey can I use your computer please so again that's two per computer so it is quite easy to you know get a lot of coupons quite quickly and it's all about combining them as well so obviously like with manufacturers coupons say if I had like the carefree coupon I had that one and then I had a manufacturers coupon so it's just about creating more of a saving because quite often the coupons you do find online just won't cover the entire cost so it's always great to just have a manufacturers coupon as a backup just so you can cover the extra cost and hopefully get a little bit of over it. I will do a video on writing to manufacturers actually because I have done a blog post with quite a few of you and you and you still like you're still unsure so I'll probably do a video on that one but I think it's just being like organized I think that's the main point of this video just knowing your savings knowing where the best discount is being prepared with the manufacturer's coupon so just go through your cupboards and just you know pick your favorite so you know twinings tea is my favorite so i write to twinings tea just have coupons in a wallet i've got a wallet which is organized so i don't have to worry about like stuffing them all in my purse and you know losing them or th getting disorganized and just taking advantage of freebie coupons so we've been quite lucky recently we've had the free naked bars the free yumus the free coke so when they happen just blitz them and quite a lot of the coupons like those the naked bars weren't um coupon printer so i printed about 12 i think and like obviously make sure they're individual barcodes you don't want to be photocopying or 
for um, printing the same one because they won't do them in the future if we do that. The Coke one was actually like a PDF file so there wasn't a unique code it was just a uh, like genuine barcode so it was available to everyone so ones like that again you can print as many as you want to so just make sure there isn't an individual barcode on there like with your name because otherwise like you will get caught out and you know you don't want anything to happen or embarrassment at the checkout. I hope you enjoy it and our next vlog will hopefully be about writing to manufacturers so please leave your comments below and on the facebook page of your stockpiles and your top tips because i'd love to know them and i hope this has helped you all thanks guys mm -hmm.